Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Odd Sparks and Automation Adventure. Last time we got all of our wood production set up and right before we finished we got our, our hands on the wood workshop. Problem is where we've kind of set all of our stuff up we don't have like the greatest place in the world to set the wood workshop up. Because you need access to to both the bore, the planks and the, and the timber here. I'm kind of wondering, where would be a good place to put this guy? We've also kind of hit the limit of what we can do with the large tree over here anyway. It's, it's, it is filling up all of our timber here. Maybe we should just plop it down here. I don't know, man. Yeah, let's just throw it down. Start, start hauling some stuff over there so we can actually use it. I suppose I should like steal... There's no, there's no boards in there. Oh, it's because, uh, did I turn, I turned this one to timber. That's funny. I was like, there's no boards in here. What do I do with this thing? Fine, I'll take these boards. Get this barrel out of the way so they don't accidentally be bringing all the stuff. There we go. And now they're running up and down. And now we turn you back onto wood panel. And then I take all of the boards out of here. I move this barrel out of the way as well. Just throw it over there for now. And now, do we want to have a second group of timber guys? I guess that's what you guys are, is just making timber. So maybe let's rotate you. The uh, yeah, like this, cause I'm the one feeding you guys timber anyway. Uh, just over there. I'm gonna have so many barrels. Why can't I delete this? There we go. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many barrels just kind of scattered around the landscape because I'll delete things and then forget to take them away. Now. The whole purpose of you is to turn normal wood into sawn timber. And we'll just throw stuff in there to get you guys started on making swords. Use the crafty guys because they're good at that. And then you guys need normal lumber. We have 16... I also wonder if I shouldn't use, like, a crate to just have guys, like, if they are if they live on this route, for example, and then they will grab timber and bring it to the thing. I also could build a crate, this guy, like, right here, and then I can put timber in here, the only 40, but it's better than nothing. And then if they don't drop off the timber that they're carrying, they'll grab more timber. Or maybe, you know what? I should move this after... Uh, I should move it over here. So if they grab timber from the timber makers, great. Then we don't have to worry about uh, picking up timber. If they don't have timber to pick up, they'll grab extra timber from this guy. Seems pretty good. All right. So, what we want to do today, we have a lot of missions. I think the one we should start with is the Etheric Distiller. We need to craft 40 Ether Shard at the Ether Distiller, way over here. I think this is the last Tier 1 mission we had. Or Tier 2? One of the tiers. We'll look at it in a second once I get this, this dude up and running. Alright, so we have a crafty guy. We only have one crafty guy. We should probably go make more crafty guys. But well, you take ether pellets, so we'll throw them in there, and then let that guy do his work. I guess we'll give you a a a, a buddy just to help you out, even though he's slow, he'll be faster than nothing. We don't have a teleporter up and running over here yet. I think once we have that that location that has all of the ancient bases on it once we have that up and running as our main location i think i'll tear all of this stuff down 
and just turn it into a a lone large tree that turns uh wood into teleportation power <laughs> that's all it does yeah once we get the ability to tear down these pine trees oh boy i'm gonna be excited all right give me all the crafty spark throw more stumpy spark in there and then throw the rest of the planks you have in there and then just let those guys continue chunking out more Chunking out more crafty sparks. Ooh. We've got... We've transported enough sawn timber. We've almost transported all the wooden panel. So now we just need to transport <laughs> item filters, I suppose? Look at these guys go. They're doing so good. I mean, I guess we just build the item filter. Which we haven't really done. Let's see here. Item filter. Oh, we need normal wood. Give me some normal wood. I, honestly, I don't really feel the need to build any item filters right now. I could see maybe in the future using an item filter to kind of parse where people are going or what they're delivering to. Um, but for now, I think I'll just, you know, I'll just slap them down to get, get the achievement done. And then I'll delete them immediately. There we go. All right, we've completed the quartermaster's quest. Now let's go back to the ether, the ether pump or whatever it was, and check in on that one. Oh, we're at thirty-six of forty. Did we run out of ether pellets? I hope not, because I don't even. I think I got those out of like old chests. Oh, they ran out. I'm so upset. Oh no, they didn't run out. They just ran. They maxed out their capacity. We're okay. Here, give me that stumpy spark back. I'll give you a crafty spark, and now you can do it even faster. So this one's wooden panel. We don't have access to tree bark yet. We're making wooden blade. Okay, that one's done too. Keep going, you guys. I'll check in with you later. I don't know where you get ether pellets. I assume that's going to be, like, an important thing for us. Because, you know, free ether. We don't have to hunt. We won't ever have to hunt ever again. Ooh, good thing I got here. I forgot to set up my my offloading ramp. My little cube. And then move one of these barrels over here. Just for, for sword offloading. And then we'll just throw... One, two, three? Maybe three guys? Probably only need one at the rate at which they're making swords anyway. <laughs> but but I think it's going fine. They're keeping up with the the plate the plates and the planks. This is going fine. I almost wonder I, I should move this guy back over here just in case they need to offload any of this timber. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, we'll keep this running. Let's go back into town and turn in some of these these quests that we've completed. I'm sure you're all dying to hear the, the wonderful voices of my NPCs. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the quartermaster. Counter one way. Complete. Finally, I can f figure out how many sparks should go on a path tile. Okay. The stumpy spark reminded me of my little brother. He used to follow me around, stuck to me like a spark. He's a rancher now. Let's make a spark pen. Like an animal pen, but for sparks. Huh. Okay. We just need sawn timber and wood panel. I can do that. Uh, the old man needs a crap ton of stuff. Complete. The divine researcher writes down what you've described as you've let the distiller run. Suddenly, an almost maniacal laughter erupts from him. Ha ha ha! It's so simple. It practically defies explanation. We won't even need those ancient bases. We can place this distiller anywhere. Try it out. Something this important requires peer review. <laughs> what a nerd. Okay. Distilling ether completed. Oh, I thought he wanted me to do something, but, a but apparently not. We can turn this one in. 
Woodland sparks deliver these many different sparks. Bark harvesting. We need loamy spark. More woodland blade, wooden blade. Okay, so we need to find those special types of sparks. But let's talk to the merchant real quick. Uh, complete. The merchant stares at you in disbelief as you recount your efforts to take down the Belafont. Their eyes, the their eyes flicker left and right as they try to mentally connect things, and finally they look at you. Mm. I. I need to talk to the mayor about this. I don't think you or anyone else in this village actually understand how, what this means and how will, this will look to others. You made something that can manufacture an army. Hmm. There's the saving grace that they're not particularly capable, but in the wrong hands. They're already capable enough. I'll have to take care of this. You can go. I have a lot of letters to write. Okay. You just made me scared, but all right. Let's see here. Ooh, we could put in a blade, since we don't have the 20 anyway. We don't have any tree bark. We don't have any fertilizer. Okay. Still things need need done. Dunning. <laughs> Let's go check on the blade manufacturer. And then I suppose we should go wander and see if we can find the other... The other spark... Types. Uh, how's blade blade construction going? Going good? 14, okay. We'll let you chug along for now. They are keeping up with the, the plates. But, it, okay, so they're a little ahead of the plates. So I think what I'll do is just like with the other ones, we'll have an overload barrel just in case. All right. So now the plan here. We could process organics, bark harvesting. I think this is the one I want to... We need carry spark... I assume that's a guy who's good at carrying, carrying stuff. Choppy spark is the sword guy. I'm well aware of him. And then low me spark, I don't know what the that is. It would apply... The name would imply that it has something to do with dirt. <laughs> but I have no clue. So we're going to wander around until we can find a new spark here. Or a, a new spark shrine. The crafty spark was just kind of like in the woods, so... I'm not really sure. Other than just like wandering into places we haven't been before. Really what we should be looking for. Some ancient base. Oh ho! Oh! Choppy spark! Yes! Just like the others, the shrine war is into life and, and checks that everything is still working. As expected, it spits out a strange new creature into your arms. The shrine registers that the choppy spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. He's adorable. The choppy spark bows his head, ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything could be done, with a puff of magic, the spark turns into the familiar wooden disc. You place it in your bag and with deactivation successful, the shrine states that it is now fully operational. Ah, this is the offensive guy. Makes total sense. He's a sword. He is made out of stumpy spark and wooden blade. All right. We know what we're doing with the wooden blades that we have. And any stumpy sparks that we have spare. And we're throwing two crafty spark to get, get to work on, on more choppy spark. Oh, he's adorable. He's got a little eye. I'm stuck. There we go. All right. We'll let that ch chunk through. And we'll, uh, we'll come back and revisit that in the future. For now, let's check our map. Where could... Like up here? Uh, there's a lot up uh, up in here that I haven't explored. Like it's just like north. We should swing by the crafty shrine here too. Oh, that's not crafty. That's, that's where I wanted to set up my future crafting. But all the trees are in the way. How'd you guys do? Good. Five more crafty spark. And you will take Stumpy Spark. So we'll have to go back and empty out the Stumpy Spark Shrine. Right now I don't want to get rid of the six that I have and the odd chance that I need them for something. Alright, where are we going? Just kind of wandering. But I would love to get my Ancient Container. Can I open you? A blocked ancient container. How about 
Can the sword boy do it? <laughs> you tried your best, Choppy. I, I, <laughs> I'm proud of you for trying at the very least. Ooh, no. Oh, a Beulafont. It's okay. We don't need to tackle him just yet. I'm sure we'll enjoy using his corpse in the future. I did notice that a lot of the shrines tend to be around... Like, those ancient bases? Maybe that's wrong? It feels right. I'm finding a lot of these containers. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. What are you? Are you... Lomi! Okay. He's got a little... He's like a Chikorita. The Pokemon? The Shrine Words to Life? As expected, it's... This guy looks bored. Spits out a new creature. The Lomi Spark. Wiggles its leaf, ready and eager to receive instructions. Awesome. It doesn't have offense. The A one-use special spark that regrows the local plants where it's thrown. To manage and respect nature, you can't just take, you also have to give. Huh. A one-time use spark. Interesting. Didn't somebody want 20 of those? I guess I should have looked to see what... Ah, watch out for the mantis stag. They'll eat you. Um, I should have seen what, what do you make out of these. Ether shard and fertilizer. Okay. So we'll need the 20 swords to to unlock the fertilizer m manufacturing ability, I guess. A lot of large trees. One day I will be able to use you. <laughs> oh, a Beelophant. Oh, more ancient shrine base. A lot of them. And a graveyard. Hmm. I wonder. Is this tree, like, accessible over here? Oh, over here. Oh! Oh, we might need to, uh, to audible out of our plan to build up over here. If we can start at this tree and then come over to this sec section of, uh, of bases? I think this is a good place to start. Do I have the materials necessary to make a chopper? No. I just need stone, though, and we we just walked by, like... Oops, clicked outside the window. Uh, we just walked by a field of stone, exactly. Just send your dudes to gather stone. And now we know what we're doing in the nearest future. Thank you, boys. All right. What are we at? Eight stone. We'll, we'll get more. We only needed five, I think, anyway. But we need to find the other shrine first. My tendency to get distracted is... Uh, that path, path led me astray. My tendency to get distracted is uh, very high in this game. I don't know if I have ADHD or something similar. Whoa! <laughs> but I, uh, I definitely get distracted in video games. I think it's worse when I, I record for YouTube, though, because I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you! Ta-da! Oh, it's like a little pot! The carry spark. Rears on its hind legs, ready and eager to receive instructions. Turns back into a wooden disc. Capacity is two. It takes crafty spark... To make carry spark wild. Well, oh, what just happened? Excuse me. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> There's still some bugs to be worked out of the game. Let's see, five and four. Yeah, this will take. This will make five carry spark for us. Very cool. We'll let those guys chunk on through. Oh, neat! And there's a warp gate here, too! Oh! It's... I mean, it's not super close, but it's relatively close. Although... Yeah, it's a little... It's a little closer. Although, if we're elsewhere on the map, you know, much easier to teleport there and walk over than... than other places. I'm gonna grab all these ancient containers while I'm, I'm in the neighborhood. Oh, I see. When there's stuff inside them, they're glowing pink. When they've been emptied, they kind of turn into a dull pink. 
I also learned that you can tag something on the map with a right click. Who knew? I'm sure all of you did, but I didn't. Now, the question is, does it automatically go away? It does not. Uh, okay. So we can... Uh... There we go. I was like, we can right click and take it away. But it, I was right... I swear to you, I was right clicking and it was not being taken away. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna build our harvester here. Drop you down. Now... The dirt path. This is important. Like so. You would want to immediately empty the dirt path into a spark workbench. And then and then what we'll do is we'll have multiple spark workbenches that that like coincide with each other. Does that make sense? <laughs> they, 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 they like link together in a chain to make like more all all types of sparks essentially. And then we'll have, you know, whichever sparks we, we need at the time. Um Lomi Spark. I guess we just throw the car the carry spark onto the path. Although I need to I need him for this uh this mission. And we need 80 crafty spark. Um so really we should get you off the ground. Maybe just with Stumpy Spark for now. Maybe we swap you up for Crafty Spark. Um, in the future. If they're faster, I'm not even sure if they are faster. Um, but for now, not my, not my sword guy. He just, it's not his job. We'll just have these guys run around in a circle. And then I'll build, I'll build some barrels just for them to be able to unload some stuff and we shouldn't have this thing as long as it is oh no i screwed up my people come back we shouldn't have it as long as it is otherwise they're just going to run around for no reason but at least this way they can do something productive while i'm off you know with my other my other manufacturing setup but the idea is like to use that setup over there as our main place. And then this place over here, I would honestly just turn into a wood f fueler for our our waypoint over here. This guy. All right, how is the sword production going? Ooh, lots of swords. What are the what are the the missions here? So we need wooden panel and tree bark. We don't have access to that yet. So we can turn in the wooden blade for fertilizer manufacturing. We need 20 loamy spark. I see. Which we need fertilizer for in the first place. This one we could turn in some of the stuff. And this one we need a lot of sawn timber and um, wood panel. But I think we have all of that. Uh, let's turn in all these leaves. We can leave the ether shard. We're not really using it for anything right now either. Um, we need more timber. Let's grab all of this. Yeah, that's enough timber. And we need more panel. So let's grab as much of the panel as we can carry. Alright, let's go turn this stuff in. Move our quests along. And then I think next ep I'm, the this episode is not quite done yet, but I think we'll save for next episode setting up the base. That'll be the big the big thing we do next time is getting that whole thing sorted out because that's going to take like my full concentration to get <laughs> to get that sorted in a, in a way I want it uh, operating. Uh, turn in the cutter or the swords. Excellent. Many farmers need fertilizer and we'll be able to supply them at cost. This will save a lot of time and hopefully allow them to grow more food cheaply. A beneficial outcome for everybody involved. Okay. You got a new mission for me? The divine researcher has told me that you need aether shards to make sparks. I do happen to know that sometimes you get these ether etheric clumps that you can't do much with. But perhaps we can change that. I think we can use the cutter we built. Uh, except, do I have a th Oh, I have two! I have two! I need three! Fine. Are you the one that needs the all the stuff? 
You aren't, thank God. The mayor's voice is the one I struggle with the most. Also, probably the one people enjoy hearing the most, but still. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna give you the Lomi Spark, the Carry Spark, and the Choppy Spark. Just to get those in there. And then we're gonna give you 36 wooden blades, and then we need to make fertilizer as well. And then I assume it's the... Oh, it's actually the Quartermaster. Oh, right. We wanted to make pens for the sparks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two. Oh, nice. That's less wood than I thought it was. Complete. It works. It doesn't hold a lot. But still, it's nice. Have fun with it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I guess that what that would allow you to do... Well, you can store sparks as... I don't know why you would leave them in a pen. I guess maybe we'll find out in the future. Alright, so what do you need? You need Lomi Spark and Wooden Blades. You need more Etheric Clump, which I'm pretty sure I got out of, out of like, chests or something like that. And then, yeah, Lomi Spark. You need Tree Bark, which we haven't learned how to craft or uh, collect yet. Okay. Okay. So I think what we want to do for the rest of this episode is grab most of our materials and start hauling stuff over to the other base. We'll let these guys continue to churn. There's no reason we shouldn't. We'll take all this stuff with us. And then we'll disassemble this guy since it's just like our, our person storage anyway. And then, are there any... We should probably take as much of the raw wood as we can. Oh, right. And then the Lomi... Sp or the, the the Stumpy Spark says, I don't actually have any sparks following me right now. So let them churn out some more Stumpy Sparks. All right. Now the plan is to head over here. And then if... It's kind of interesting, because if we wanted to get this ancient waypoint up and running, we should almost, like, be hauling wood over from this giant tree. Maybe once we get a, a set of carry sparks up and running, we can, we can start setting up longer distribution lines. Because there isn't a giant tree that's even, like, somewhat close to <laughs> that other one. Alright, they're filling this guy up. Still got a ways to go, but doing fine. Now, let's rebuild our storage shed. And then let's throw all, I guess, all the stuff in here. Might as well. We can pull it out as needed. Sort. Now, the plan is to drag you guys over here and start build, making a series of spark workbenches which needs normal wood which we have a lot of so let's grab all the normal wood out of here just a, as much as we can get our hands on and then we'll grab a couple sections of etheric shards uh all right build assembler we want the input on this side because this will come in this way and then spit it out in that direction. So let's go ahead and extend the pathway. And we'll loop it as such. And then I think we'll just have them go straight back. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Poor guys, they're like, we're free! We can at least do something with our, our lives now. All right, give them a little more dudes to, to be walking. Oh, right. You guys need to get moved. There. Now they, they will bring logs to this guy. And because we don't have any crafty sparks to use, we'll just utilize our stumpy sparks for now. Now, if we wanted to build... An ether distiller. This guy can go anywhere. So this one uses ether clumps to make Ethereum. What is it? What is this? Ether pellets? What are they? 
Ether shard. Okay, so I did say it, say it right. For some reason in my head, I was like, Ethereum is the way it's supposed to be. Not true. <laughs> but let's focus on our sparks for now, our spark hierarchy. So you guys are making Stumpy Spark. The next one is going to be making Crafty Spark. Which will come out and get dumped in to the next thing. And that, on that also ne needs wood panel. So this is where you would really like to get multiple giant trees going. But for now, we'll, we'll kind of have to just deal with it. Because we won't be able to balance it without multiple inpu inputs, I don't think. Interesting thought, though. What we could do is we could use the, the splitter and go, like, thusly. Uh, oh, not like that. I've, I've done this wrong. Uh, quick. Delete this. Oh, you fool. <laughs> that little guy was too quick for me. We don't want to do it like that. Because this is for, for gathering uh, Stumpy Spark. So we need a, a separate input. Okay, I, I see what I've done wrong here. We need to go and leave it be like this. And then this will be the, the delivery mechanism for Stumpy Spark bits. And then the next part is here. We will have... Oh, I screwed it up. I'm sorry, guy. This part is going to have a diverter, which I... This. Uh, not that one. Splitter. Entering sparks will alternate between available exits. So we need three wood for that, or three timber for that. And we'll do it like thus. And then we will connect... Oh no, that's wrong. Well, it's not technically wrong, because we do need to deliver raw wood to the thing that will be making... We will be making plates with. So we need to make a series of choppers. Okay, this is exactly why I wanted to spend the next episode figuring this out, because I can't do this all at once. <laughs> But, but, but the plan for next time is to get saw benches up and running and get it, get two of them in a row. So this one will produce timber. The next one will produce um, boards. And then that one will feed into the crafty spark, guys. So I guess we'll do it like this. Is that going to work? Like, would they deliver to that? Oh, they do. Actually, uh... They don't even need this guy because he's attached to he's attached to this guy. Um so they don't need to come to him. They'll either feed this one or they'll feed this one. Perfect. Uh that's an accident. Uh you know, Bob Ross style. Happy accident. Um and then this guy will feed timber into this guy who will feed plates into this guy uh like thusly grand and then we'll make crafty sparks cool we figured it out anyway uh we're gonna pause the episode there if you guys enjoyed click the like button it helps me out a lot if you guys want to see more odd sparks and automation adventure or the other videos i have going on on the channel subscribe to the channel that also helps me out a lot but until next time everybody i hope you have a good one and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye everybody